So I'm curious, out of all the foods out there, what do you think is the number one food to help you boost testosterone? But not just testosterone, increasing fertility, sperm count, sperm motility. What's your guess? Oysters. Okay, oysters are the food that contains the most zinc out of any foods not just some regular old zinc. It has bioavailable zinc and copper. And actually, it is probably the most nutrient-dense food behind liver, okay? It's loaded with nutrition. Just as a side note, if you are deficient in zinc, you could potentially develop something called hypogonadism. Your gonads actually shrink because you don't have enough zinc. And testosterone is made by the gonads. Now, I know what someone's going to comment. We shouldn't be consuming shellfish, especially oysters, because of the microplastics in the ocean. One point on that, if you consume Pacific oysters, and you can even get them canned, you'll have the lowest amount of microplastics. But so is the lack of nutrition in our diet and the lack of nutrient-dense foods. So we have to kind of balance things out. But oysters are literally at the, almost at the top of the list to provide nutrient-dense foods. And when you're trying to build up testosterone, it's not just about increasing that one hormone. It's about supporting the entire endocrine system, all the hormones in the right balance. So this can help you at many different levels. Oysters are loaded with zinc, copper in the right ratios, tons of B12, iron, vitamin D, B6, omega-3 fatty acids, and choline. Now, what you need to know is there's other things too that can negate or nullify your results when you consume oysters. Like if you're on a statin drug, which blocks cholesterol, which is needed to make testosterone, in fact, that can nullify any foods that you eat, any supplements that you eat in boosting your testosterone. Soy, soy decreases testosterone. Grains, this is the big one. Why? Because it has phytic acid and phytic acid blocks zinc, okay? Low hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Hydrochloric acid is necessary to absorb the trace minerals, especially zinc. How do you know if you have low hydrochloric acid? Well, you're probably on an antacid because heartburn, GERD, indigestion, acid reflux, all are indications of low HCL. Sugar, too much sugar will kill testosterone. Too many refined carbohydrates. Stress will do it. Lack of sleep is a really big one. And the more fat you have in your body, the more estrogen that you'll make and the less testosterone that you will make. In fact, your body will start converting testosterone into estrogen. And iron, okay, if you have too much iron, that can really damage the liver and leave you with a very low testosterone levels. So even though oysters are loaded with iron, there is a condition where you can have too much iron. Now, on the flip side, other things you can do to increase testosterone, and I've done a lot of videos on this, hardcore exercise with a lot of sleep recovery. So it's the intensity and volume of exercise with good recovery that will help you boost testosterone, but you have to make sure you recover from it. The hormone pathways of testosterone follow the hormone pathways of growth hormone. If one's higher, the other one's gonna be a little bit higher. So they work together. Cholesterol, consuming enough cholesterol foods, consuming enough fatty foods. This is why eggs are good. This is why butter is good because testosterone is made out of cholesterol low stress, good sleep, and red meat, which is also another food that's loaded with iron. Now, what's really wild is that there's this new diet that certain organizations want to put the planet on, but it's from a report from the Eat Lancet Commission, where they want to put the entire planet on mostly grains, and soy, and beans, and legumes, and no red meat, and very little eggs. That's a perfect recipe to make everyone infertile with very low testosterone.
And so if you haven't seen that video, I put it up right here. Check it out.